All right, on this one, we're going to talk about an average word problem. And I'm going to read it, and then we're going to talk about two different ways to solve the same problem. On her first four games, Jennifer bowled 101, 112, 126, and 108. What is the maximum score she must bowl in order, oh, in her fifth game, in order to have an average of at least 110? So let's go back. What do you know about average? You add them up. And you divide by how many? Well, this is her first four games. But remember it says her fifth game. Do I know what her fifth game is right now? No. All I'm going to put when I don't know something is X. So at the end of all her bowling, how, much, how many games will she have played? She'll have played one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to divide this by five. And what do I want this to equal? It tells you at least 110. Can it be over 110? Sure it can. It just can't be less than. So it has to be greater than or equal to. All right. So how do we go about solving this? We can go a couple of ways. I'm going to go with what I would call the short and easy way. And I'm going to add up the numbers on the top to give me 447 plus x divided by 5 is less than or equal to 110. Okay, anytime I have a long division here, okay, it's dividing everything. Let's get rid of all that division. So I'm going to multiply because that's the inverse. This leaves me 447 plus x is greater than or equal to 550. Now all of you know how to do this. I have 447 plus x. I'm going to subtract 447. And my answer comes to 103. Everybody cool with that? All right, that's one way to do it. Is that the only way to do it? Of course not. So let's take another look. I'm going to take the same start, but I'm going to do it just a little different. And I'm going to move it over just a little bit so it's a little more centered because I have a lot of work to do on this one. All right, I see the division sign goes all the way across the whole top part. So if I ever want to get rid of division, I can just multiply. So I'm going to start with the multiplication process first. And what does this leave me? 101 plus 112 plus 126 plus 108 plus x is greater than or equal to 550. Now if you go back and look, you remember that I had a number 550. All right, I can do two things from here. I can add all these numbers up at one time, and it will give me the 447. And that will work just fine. But if you're not comfortable doing that, you can always do each one of these individually. Subtract, whoops, subtract 101 from both sides. Cancel out. What is leave you? 112 plus 126 plus 108 plus x is greater than or equal to 451. And you could keep on subtracting each one of these. Let's write that correctly. Until you get down to the very end, this leaves you 339. And if you kept on subtracting, x is greater than or equal to 103. Two ways to do the same problem. Anyways, find a way that works for you and do your best.